Hey everybody. Okay, so the puking has stopped, thank goodness. But we have a hand, foot, and mouth outbreak, don't we? <laughs> so if y'all pray for us, please pray for us. We're gonna be quarantining for the third time in 2023. And honestly, mama needs to get out. So thank you for your prayers. Hey, good morning, everybody. It is super early still. It's like 6.30, but I decided to just start my day with y'all today. I know I don't usually do this. I'm gonna get back to my Bible reading here soon. I thought I would just start here today, show you guys kind of what my morning looks like. I make some coffee, and then I had a, um, a pumpkin roll frozen from fall. So that's what I'm making for breakfast. I've got my black coffee, because I love black coffee with sweets. I'm trying to be quiet because the girls are still sleeping. And then each morning I light a candle and I read for a half hour. And then I have started exercising for a half hour, which is a very new development. I've like never exercised in my life. And then I read my Bible. And right now I'm rereading Emotionally Healthy Spirituality. It has like a devotional that goes with it. And so that's how I'm starting out my day today, but I'm excited. So I'm gonna give you guys like a little plant tour of our house. And I also found some really good home decor at the Goodwill outlet or like the Goodwill bins. And so I'm gonna show you those as well. So I'm gonna finish up here. I'm gonna spend the rest of my time focusing on what I'm doing here, focusing on the Lord. And then I'll pick up a little bit later and I'll show you guys some of the plants that we have in our house. A lot of people have had questions about how we keep them alive. And I'll have to tell you a little bit about that. So let's get started. Okay, so here I am like half a day later. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, you know, if I'm gonna show these people my house, my house probably shouldn't be disgusting. <laughs> so I spent all morning cleaning. But man, I don't think you realize like just how gross your house is until you're going to put it online and realize that possibly thousands of people could see all the dust on your floor and the dog hair. So got rid of that. But I also wanted to mention that if you guys didn't notice, I know that I usually upload my videos on Sundays, but I actually had a bonus video that was earlier this week. So if you didn't catch that, go ahead and watch it. It's a sort of haul on like kitchen essentials. And I'm also going to have another bonus episode this week, which will release probably about halfway through the week, just like last week. Okay. So I've gotten a lot of questions just about like all the plants in our house and if they're fake, if they're real, and you guys, I have to admit, they're both. <laughs> I used to only have real plants in my house and I was a little bit of a pure, I was a little bit of a pure, I was a little bit of a puritan or a purist. <laughs> What's the word? But you know, mama can't keep up. Okay. Especially as the kids grew and started taking up more and more time. I can only handle so many plants in my life, but I want green everywhere. So I figured I would show you guys a little bit of kind of like the plant life that we have going on here and show you what I've chosen to try to keep alive and show you what I have given up on trying to keep alive. <laughs> Okay, so also in today's video, I wanted to show you guys a couple of awesome finds that I found at the Goodwill bins. I feel like I say this every video, but seriously, it may be my best bins find ever. Okay, I'm not even gonna get into it because it's so good. I'll show you that while we're kind of going along. But first, I wanted to start with this awesome flannel that I found. You guys, I'm not gonna lie. I've just been, you know, channeling JTT over here. <laughs> You know, honestly, we watched like Man of the House recently and I was like, no, that's the look I'm going for is JTT. Somewhere between JTT and, um, and Rachel from Friends. <laughs> anyway, I was really excited. It's, um, let's see what it's called. Pops Creek. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's like a real thick flannel shirt. It's a size extra large. And I'm not gonna lie to you, this is the third day in a row I've worn it. So this is my first find at the outlet, but let's go ahead and get started with the plants. I really need to water them. I do a really poor job of watering my plants. So I know that I've gotten some pushback on here because I have said that the reason why all of my plants look so good is because I try to take care of them and then they die and then I just replace them with the new plants. And I know that some of y'all are like, that's not right. And it's probably not right. So a friend of mine actually reached out to me recently and he told me about this plant app out there. They're called Planta and they're an award-winning plant care app that just helps you take care of your plants. So Planta has some really cool features. First of all, they have this intelligent care schedule. There's like 20 plus parameters to let you know when to like 
plant, repot, water, uh, mist, fertilize, like all the things for your plant. One of the really cool things that they have is plant identification. So if you're not sure what a plant is, you can just take a picture of it and they'll instantly let you know what kind of plant it is. The app has a light meter and they'll let you know which plants prefer bright light and which plants prefer like a lower light. And they also have a feature called Dr. Planta. If your plants aren't feeling good, Dr. Planta will help you identify what's wrong and help you come up with a treatment plan for your plants. They can recommend plants based on your home or they can recommend plants based on your ability. They also have a new feature called Discover and I'll show you guys what it looks like right here. Y'all, I personally am going to need this app to help me save these plants around here. I'm going to show you guys. These look pretty good from far away, but a few of them need some serious help and so I'm going to definitely need to utilize this app. If you guys are interested in it though, you guys can click the link in the description to get 20% off if you use my code. Okay, so let me show you what we've got. Okay, so I recently found this croc bowl. And as you can see, it's got this little design in it. Do you guys know what this is called? I have a really hard time knowing the dates of these kinds of bowls. This is my third one, yes or so. No, I've got more, but this is my third big one that I have. But I don't have one that has this like really pretty design on it. I did get it from Thrift World for $4.98. <laughs> so I was excited about that. And in that I put my dying, I think this is called a pathos. But honestly, you guys, these are the easiest plants to take care of. This thing, it was like up in Rosie's room for like four months and it never once got water. <laughs> I told her that she needed to take care of it and I don't think she did. And it's still alive. So I would highly recommend this type of plant if you would like a low maintenance plant. So I keep it up here um, on top of this one, which is a faux plant that I got from Ikea. I feel like most of my faux plants have come from ikea or the thrift store and i thought i would give you guys a little bit better look at this little faux plant i wouldn't say that it's the most convincing but you know i really feel like it adds a nice touch of greenery up here and best of all i don't have to care for it and here i think i told you guys that i just use these little wreaths that i got from hobby lobby and i just place these in these plates and it just kind of adds a little bit of greenery and it's honestly not that big of a deal. Like whenever we get a plate, we just lift it up and pull it out. Like I like it. Josh was not at first a fan of it, but he's gotten used to it. Okay, so let's start in the graveyard that is our side porch. First of all, I do have these little fake guys. I think I'm gonna get rid of these. They just look way too fake to me. These don't bother me as much and I kind of like how they hang out. I still have a Christmas tree <laughs> down here. You guys saw when I got that last year for Christmas. And then this is the graveyard of our hanging potted ferns. And I was so sad, you guys. Y'all told me that they were gonna die. <sighs> It just, it happened and I'm so sad. I really looked forward to having these on our front porch in the spring and summertime. I just love it when you have a wraparound porch with a bunch of hanging ferns. Oh, even the smell in here, it just smells like, you know, like it smells like they're dead. I need to take them down, but they're a lovely visual for our neighbors. And I do have plans for maybe an alternative to doing that, so we'll see. Up here, I do have this little potted fern. I showed this to you guys a couple months ago, and there's two of these, and I just love how realistic they look. Above our stove, I currently do have our boxwood wreath. This is real dry boxwood. It will kind of turn brown as time goes on, but I'm really getting used to loving like dried florals and plants. Up here, I actually do get comments on this a lot of times, how we keep this one alive. This is one of my most realistic faux plants that I have. You guys were with me last spring when I found this and I was excited to bring it. I was planning on putting it in our basement, but I wound up just putting it up here, but it is a pathos. Over here, I have some dried eucalyptus. I found this at the Goodwill bins. It was in a big Big bunch and I kind of separated it so I brought it over here and then I also have some in our bathroom so I have the other bunch over here but y'all I don't like it I think it looks so dumb like <laughs> that looks so dumb to me I don't even know why I kept it I think I just needed something in here so I do have the dried eucalyptus right here I've got these faux plants I don't know what this is supposed to be either I am going to get rid of this one too just because I think it looks so junky I do have these faux eucalyptus plants over here that are hanging on our towels maybe I'll just take those and put those in those two bottles instead I don't know it's just the bathroom is such an afterthought this like faux shiplap is a thing you know like it I think it was really popular a few years ago but to be honest with you it's bowing in a lot of places and it's just warped 
and there's no natural light in here. And so I kind of don't like to put a whole lot of effort into this space. On this door right here, I do have, again, you guys, I'm like, this is a whole video about my plants in my house. And I'm literally, I think I'd spend like three quarters of these if it's fake, which makes me feel like a total imposter because like I said, I used to only do real plants. But I did find this at the Goodwill bins and I like how it looks in this little basket that I found at a garage sale last summer. But I think that the kitchen is probably the most amount of big plants that we have in our house. I'm moving on to some real ones, I promise. Here we go, here's one. Okay, so you guys, this is my ficus, I believe is what this one is called. I was a little bit bummed because when I bought this, it was like this scraggly big thing. And I kind of loved it, but the woman who I bought it from, she told me just cut it back and within a year, it'll be just as big as it is now, except for it'll look much fuller and nicer and less like homeless, you know? When I bought it, it was from like a rescue, like a plant rescue. They just kind of kept all of the like scraggly things there and I tried to save it. Anyway, I cut it back and it has not grown like one inch <laughs> in like two years since I cut it. So, I mean, whatever. Up here, I have my, I don't even know what you call this. It's like a pencil cactus. This is a real one. As you can see, this is one of my least favorite plants that I have. I just, I don't really know. I don't really have a good spot for it. And so I just put it there. This whole area over <laughs> my pantry is kind of a hot mess. I just never really know what to do with this area. Down here is another pathos. I like this one better because it is, a darker green and I'm not really a huge fan of like the lime green that you see a lot in these plants but this one is special to me because when my grandma moved out her, of her house after she was injured she let a few of us grandkids take home her plants and so this was always my favorite one that she had so she allowed me the honor of taking it home and caring for it while she is away so I'm gonna do her right and take care of this thing because I'm not kidding you guys it has become monstrous at times. We have to cut this thing back on a yearly basis. So I love it. I love how it just hangs down. I don't, it's not a plant stand. It's like a wash stand. We saw this at a garage sale down the street on the very first day that we moved in and him and I, we didn't have any way of transporting it. And so we decided to carry it from the house down the street to our house. It seemed feasible, but you guys, it took us so long and it got so heavy. It had to have been probably three blocks and I don't know, it felt like a mistake at the time. Over here I have my dying roses from Josh and then on the table I like to just keep these garlands. These are two hearth and hand garlands put together and I found these both at the Goodwill bins and so I just kind of keep them on our table almost as a runner, but obviously they're big. Okay, so down here, this is what I was gonna talk about earlier. While I was at the bins recently, I found these. Again, obviously they're fake, but I'm looking for something to fill some hanging baskets on our front porch. There's two and they're not like gorgeous, but I thought that if I could find enough like greenery, maybe I could just shove it all into those foam things that you can put in a hanging basket. And maybe I can fool people into thinking that we have actual alive green things growing on our porch because the thing that stinks about our porch, I'll show it to you. I'll let Bunny out. Okay, so the thing that stinks about our porch is that we have all, it's all south facing, right? And so here are the baskets that I've been referring to, but it just gets so much sun in the summertime, especially when the sun gets lower on the horizon. And I'm just so afraid that they're gonna burn even if I do buy them. And they're not cheap. Like I think they're usually at least 20 to $30 per plant. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready to commit and I feel like I'm just going to kill everything. Over here, I have a, okay, I'm not sure. Maybe you guys can tell me if this is a banana leaf plant or if it's a bird of paradise. It has not produced one banana and it has not produced one bird of paradise. Have you guys ever seen that, um, that, I don't know if I want to call it a meme, but that picture online that shows you about the bird of paradise, it's so funny. It basically says like, this is, this is why it's actually named bird of paradise. And this is why we thought it was all named bird of paradise. Anyway, I'll put that up here if I am allowed to. 
Next, I've got these two Monsteras. Again, all of my plants, I feel like are me just trying to save the scraggliest little things. One of these was on clearance at Mulhall's and the other one was on clearance at Walmart. But I think that these both cost me about $10. And I love Monstera. I think that they're so cool. They're definitely good for that like kind of boho look, even though it's not quite what I'm going for anymore. But y'all, I still keep them around just because I think they're fun. They're, they've got so much life to them. Next over here, I have my second little faux fern that I've shown you guys before. And then this is my ZZ plant. I've had all of my ZZ plants for like an eternity and none of them look as good as they did when I first got them, but they will not die. Like these things just live forever. I had one in our bedroom that I didn't water for, it would be months and months and months at a time. And it's still, I think I want to just throw it away because it was looking so bad, but it wouldn't die. So I always recommend to people, if you've got like a low light room or if you don't like to take care of plants, ZZ plants are going to be your best friend. And they're so cool looking. They're really shiny and everything. I've got another big one down here. And the weird thing about these, and I don't know if maybe you guys can help me out with this, is that when they kind of dry up, they kind of look like this. You see how they get this like dried up part on the end. And so I always just wind up cutting them off. But now I feel like that it's just so overcrowded in here. And I truly don't know how to repot this one. So that's something that I'll have to ask the app for some help with because I've had this one for probably seven or eight years now. And it's great, but it just, it all falls over. <laughs> Look at that good looking stick. It all falls, falls over and I'm not 100% sure what to do with it sometimes. My third ZZ plant is up top. You guys saw it in my video recently. I keep it up there in that little brass pot that I'm not super in love with. Moving on, down here I have maybe, I'm gonna be kind of quiet because I'm over by Ivy's room and she's sleeping right now. But down here, I've got my sad, sad snake plant, AKA the mother-in-law tongue. <laughs> but I love this kind because it's so stripy. And I, again, I like the dark green over the kind of lime green option that there is for these. But I've had multiple mother-in-law tongues and they always start out looking so fire. And then years later, they all look like this. So I think that sometimes I just assume that because it's like a low light, low watered plant, that that means that it needs like no light and no water <laughs> and I kill it. However, behind me, okay, first over here is a marketplace find that I just had. Let me show you guys this. But you guys, I looked up these Windsor chairs and I cannot find these for like less than a thousand dollars online. Y'all, I found this one for $10 on Facebook Marketplace. I was absolutely in love. So excited to bring it in. I don't know if it's like an actual antique, but if not, it really looks awesome. Over here is my pride and joy, my fiddly fig tree. This guy has just like looked amazing the entire time I've had it. I've had it for a few years now and it makes me happy because you can see that there's some new growth even coming out on, I guess just that one. Well, this one's got a little baby. Yeah, but this girl has just like always looked great, unlike this one. <laughs> so y'all, I made a mistake. When we moved, I sent all of my plants to the plant serial killer named Joshua Hoffman. I had him keep all of my plants in his office while we were living at my parents. And unfortunately his office is on a level that doesn't have any water. And so he had to go a really far way in order to get water to water all the plants. And there were so many. Eventually he just gave up and never watered them at all anymore. And so I was really sad because this one, as you guys saw last year, was so full and beautiful. And now it's a little bit sparse up here. But honestly, I just really liked that it brought a little bit of green to this corner. Would I rather have a full fiddle leaf fig tree? Absolutely. But you know, I'm just so thankful that he cared for them for me and gave them a place to stay. And you know, you can't win them all. <gasps> okay. This is my Goodwill outlet find. You guys, I didn't just find one of these. I found six. I found six of these and a lumbar pillow, but they're all different. And I just wanted to give you guys a look at them. They are made in India and I looked these up online and they're $60 a pillow if you buy them new. But I just thought that they were so beautiful. I saw these all there and I was like, how is nobody picking these things up? So I just thought I would show them to you. I was going to put them in a thrift 
lift haul. I feel like these guys deserve a special look because they're so amazing. So here's these four and I'll show you the other three in the other room here. Next is this rubber plant. These are some of my all time favorite plants. The huge shiny leaves are just so cool and I love the darkness of them. This one recently started going rogue. That back one all of a sudden started bending really far and so I kind of propped it up against the wall over here just to kind of give it a little bit of support. Okay, that looks a little bit better. You guys, I always kill palm trees. I like, I can't help it. It just, it happens every single time I buy them. They look so beautiful. And then before you know it, this starts happening. So this guy really needs a water too. I don't know if I can recommend them, but they sure look like 10 out of 10 when they are healthy and looking good. Over here is probably my biggest mess of a Monstera. I put it over here because literally if it's not shoved into a corner, it's almost all laying on the floor. Um, it looked like this when I bought it. It was just a hot mess. I actually bought it planning on cutting off pieces and propagating them. However, you know, life is full. We got a lot going on. And so instead it just stays over here in the corner, even though she's a little crazy, we still like her. Over here is a couple of little faux things. Rosie got this for me as a gift. And then I told you guys about this faux fern that I got from Ikea. Honestly, I really liked this one until I saw the other two, but I truthfully still like it. I think if you don't see it next to the other two, it still looks pretty realistic. And then lastly, this is my shame over here. I totally forgot that I was even propagating succulents over here. I don't think I've checked on these like literally ever since we've moved in. And then this is also my fiddle leaf fig. It was just barely hanging on until recently when I saw this like teeny tiny little new growth and I was like, you know what? All of these leaves fell off when Josh was taking care of it. So I honestly just cut it all back. And one way to see if your plant is still alive, and I think I did it over here recently, but if you kind of dig in and you see that it's still green under there, that means that this plant is still alive. And so even though it looks so sad and scraggly right here, there is new growth and for sure there will be new growth on these other two, but I just clipped these off like maybe just a couple weeks ago. And so I'm not holding out any big plans for this for a while at least. <gasps> Hi, buddy boy. All right, and as you come into our porch room, we don't really keep many plants in here. Honestly, it gets so cold in the winter time. And so the only thing that I keep back here is also this new Goodwill bins find that I found. I literally don't even know what kind of tree or plant that this is supposed to be, but they're honestly just like sticks, kind of like what you would find at a Hobby Lobby or something like that. And I wasn't sure how to style this to make it look like a real tree. And so I just put it in this galvanized bin that you guys picked out with me this past fall. I don't know if you guys have any suggestions for how to make this look better, please let me know because I do not know. And then lastly, here are these beautiful Indian pillows that I found. This is the lumbar one I was talking about. I was just in love with the way that these were woven. They're so heavy and the texture is just amazing. And then here's the last one over here. I was really excited about these. All right, everybody. Well, that is pretty much my plant tour of our house. There are a couple upstairs in the girls' rooms, but like I said, it's nap time and I just don't really want to disturb them. And so those are most of the exciting ones that we have. Anyway, if you guys are plant lovers, please let me know below. And I want to thank Planta for sponsoring this video too. Again, if you guys are interested in getting 20% off, use my code that I have. So look out for that bonus episode that's going to be coming out this week. And until then, I'll see you later.